Welcome to my first vegetable garden. Today I want to show you examples of trellising your squash and your cucumbers to grow vertically. And the reason that you do that, one, is it helps you manage space so you don't have them sprawling all over the ground. And two, it makes it really easy to get under there, spray for fungus and diseases, spray for insects, and also just to eyeball and find the insects. This is a bush scalloped squash and you can see that it's growing up a tomato cage. It's in a sucking container, but you don't have to do this. You could put it right into the ground, put a, uh, put a cage over it, and then there's a post right next to it to support the cage, because these plants do get heavy. And you can see that post is about six feet tall. But I'm going to train this squash straight up through the cage and through the post, and it makes it really easy to just get in under there, look for squash bug eggs, it's real easy to spray, real easy to manage. You can see there's a scallop squash back there ready to be picked today. I also like it because the stem is exposed and you can see some white dust on there. That's insect dust. That helps keep away the uh, vine borers and also will kill any insects, beetles that are crawling up from the stem to get into the plant and lay eggs. Just remove the flowers from around it so you don't affect any pollinators. Put your dust right down there. Here are some examples of a national pickling cucumber. You can see the pollinators coming in. It's also easy for birds to get to them. I have a feeder right up here. So if they see any caterpillars or worms or insects they want to eat, they can spot them from there and go down and eat them. I also have a bird bath. Bringing in birds is a really good idea to help take care of the pests on your plants. Two cucumber plants three six-foot sticks put together, tied in the middle, and it's just climbing right up there. Here's another example of a cucumber. Cage around there, sticks in there to support the cage, and the cucumber's just climbing straight up. And it's a really, really effective way to really manage your cucumber plants. And that's my straight neck squash, and that's growing up a cage too, and also up a stick support. And you can see a couple of squash ready to go, but if you can see the insect right to the left of that higher squash, that's a dead squash bug. And it's easy for me to see it and spot it. It was easy for me to spray and put out something that would take care of that. All because I'm growing vertically. So I hope this gives you some idea. Let me step back so you can see the whole thing. And this is how I grow squash and cucumbers vertically to help Make it easy to spray for pests and disease. To take care of any squash bug eggs that may be laid on the leaves. It's so easy to spot them this way. And really just maintain your whole plant, your plants. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.